would like to now welcome all our international guests on uh, our panel about the uh, Slovenian Contemporary Dance Institution or institutionalizing of Slovenian Contemporary Dance uh, uh, the, at, uh, the first thing that I would like to do is give a word to the uh, Ministry of Culture uh, and I would ask if the Slovenian participants can uh, translate for our international guests uh, the speech that uh, the Minister will give in Slovenia, if it's possible. <coughs> I think here, here they need a translator too. Ama, please. Ama, we, we need here one translator. Ne rabite dosti za narediti ga, ker je tudi rada samo vas lepo vse pozdravila. Tako da še posebej vse eminentne goste. In tudi ne je mala časa zaradi tega, ker da ne bi bila ta dolga kava preveč blizu posila. Še enkrat vsem lepe pozdrave. Čestitam vam za to organizacijski in tudi sicer tudi ki ga ste z gibanjem in z gibanjem so začeli že včeraj, slišim, jaz sem se gibala po drugih krajih včeraj in ne v Ljubljani, tudi lepih in tudi dobrih prireditvah, slišim, da včerajšnja odvoritev je bila prijetna, dobra, zanimiva in da se ta vikend tudi kaže v tej liči. Za nas je sveda pomembno, da se srečamo ne v teh prostori, koliko, ampak v teh koncepti, oziroma boljuči tudi tega, kar Ministrstvo za kulturo želi in meni v nadaljnih procesih narediti še z plesom. Zelo lepo je slišala. Širšo, širšo, bodočo gibanje. Pa smem takoj na začetku navezala na gosta, ki je se pridružil gospod Kovač, Zakaj se bom narezala na vas? Jaz sem vam še zelo dobro v spominu tisto leto, ko je šla preširnova nagrada v rokah enega knapa. Iz toh kovač je takrat rekel in še zdaj imam tisti posnetek pred očimi, da je že lepo, da se dobi nagrado in potrebitev, ampak da to je premalo in je pravzaprav sprejem te preširnove nagrade bil povezan z nekim neko zahtevo ali tako lepoč manifestom. Ja, ampak to je premalo. Če se samo vidi, dobro dan, je potrebno tudi nekaj narediti. In to, kar menim, da bo vsaj Ministrstvo za kulturo narediti za ples, v smeri plesa, ne samo za zidove, ampak tudi za glavne koncepte. In to vidim, da mogoče, ali ne mogoče, to se bo naredilo, tudi v luči dosedanjih premikov, ki so se z odpiranjem plesu vrat na tej hiši, a ne samo v plesu, zgodile v smeri imenovanje delovne skupine, ki je mislila možnosti premikov, nekoč željenih in še zmeraj ne v dvojšnji meri potegnjenih. Poleg te delovne skupine, o kateri bo danes poročala tudi Katja, sem jo zamela, zagotovo pa stoja Pirko, državni sekretar, ki je še največ involviran v ta projekt. Naj bi vendar le povedala, da ni šla samo za delovno skupino, ki je mislila poti iz vhode, ampak, da konec konca se tudi proračun nekateri danes bi rekli 50 plus za sodobni ples odvojil in je to že bilo neko nakazilo k naslednjim korakom. Stojem bo danes predstavil tudi nacionalni koncept, če lahko tako rečem, 
našega videnja oziroma našega skupnega videnja inštitucije, ki naj bi pokrivala kot verem zelo razdrobljeno ali pa premalo homogeno ali z organizacijskimi prijemi preveč obremenjeno plesno sceno in naj bi šla v večjo institucionalizacijo sodobnega plesa. To se mi zdi izjemno pomembno in verjamem, da bo se tam zaključkom prisluhnili in jih eventualno premenitili z vodovino ali direktorjev in direktoric oziroma ključnih predstavnikov plesnih dejavnosti v nekaterih evropskih in drugih državah, ki se tukaj prisotni z izkušnjami. Ne verjamem, da se bojo te izkušnje drobile v mislih, ki so bile zastavljene in če kaj bi lahko še pridodala pri tem, razen seveda do tega, da želim Želim gibljivi vikend, uspešen, ker je program zelo, zelo zanimiv, pester širok in bogat, se temu rečem. Tisto, kar se mi zdi pomembno in kar postojamo na delevalnju in tudi povedo, se mi zdi pomembno, da je potrebno premik narediti in še tudi se nalizate ena stvar, skrb za zidovje, če tam odko rečemo, v prihodnje, je pa druga stvar. Ampak to zidovje je trenutno zelo lepo na nek način tudi s pomočjo mesta Ljubljane, saj začasno ali dolgoročno je šlo začasno, dokler ne bodo časi omogočali tudi bolj kompleksnih arhitekturnih in drugih rešitev, zagotovljeno zdaj v podližnikom španskih borcov za kar se mi meni zdi ne celostna zagotova, pa zelo dobra in primerna rešitev. No, glede na dober aplavus, vas prepisim, oziroma najbolj optimistični pozdrav, vas prepisim gibanjo misli in vaših kodis, ki se še naprej in se primikam v druge prostore. Hvala lepa.
traditional history of contemporary dance. Uh, at the first period, till the mid-70s, the production of the field of contemporary dance was uh, focused basically or the most on the, actually, there were um, production of educational production. Actually, they came, the productions came out of educational <coughs> processes that took place in, mostly in Indiana. Uh, in the 60s, actually, or the late 50s, a few very important things happened. We witnessed the first, or we actually could see the first international companies came to visit Ljubljana with their dance programs. The first one was in 1957, Jose Limon Dance Company, and then uh, in, the, in the programs of uh, summer festivals of uh, Ljubljana, many of the mostly American names, because America actually subsidized this tour very, very much. They, they exported their, their trips in, in Slovenia. In the 60s, we have very important phenomena of uh, contemporary dance on television. New media actually gave opportunity for Slovenian choreographers to work and in the in the studios, TV studios, because they had to fill up to fill up their actual TV program on the television. So this was very very important field. Then in the mid 70s. Actually, it started to happen that the, what would now what would be called the expansion of Slovenian contemporary dance. In the last three, three and a half decades, we see the constant expansion of Slovenian contemporary dance. And it was very important in the, in the, in the 80s with the, um, when it's the dance theater of Ljubljana, actually, was founded and then with uh, a little bit more <coughs> subsidies in the 90s, the amount of the production actually grew. Uh, <coughs> now we are in the certain kind of, I would say, the <coughs> in the period of certain breaks or certain important steps because the institutionalized, the, the institution that is ahead of us, then we, <coughs> we found it or we began to work on Slovenian Dance Network, which is one of the most, in, how they put it, the most important plan of the Giva you know, as artistic board. And then uh, another initiative in Spanski Bart is Slovenian uh, digital, digital archives of the documents of contemporary dance history. So, uh, <clears throat> and I guess there would be some more, how they put it, strategic, important strategic points or phenomena that have to take place, or they have to happen. Uh, now, actually, for this year, it's planned that the Slovenian Dance Institution is going to. Um, set off, so it's, uh, we are here now to discuss the issue of, uh, of what is a dance institution, um, uh, hopefully we will hear how it will happen, we will hear some reports, uh, the first 10 minute section, I will give the first 10 minute, 10 minute section to the this year's selectors of uh, Givanica um, to Andrea Podezaunik, Andrea Rauch, choreographer, and Vere uh, Sutinen to, we would like to hear some, some of their observations about uh, how they put it, the state of contemporary dance right now. And I would ask you to be, you can be subjective. You don't have to be there. We, we don't need to hear an expertise or something. It's just uh, I, I, we would like to hear your like uh, subjective observation about the status. 
questioning dance creators not dancing well I think it's we're like this and we're like that some do and some don't I mean in music some people experiment and some people <coughs> like to stick to the to jazz <laughs> you know so I think it's similar here I don't see that as a as a big issue probably Virve from a more outside point of view could spot that okay. easier than me so okay. maybe that's a moment to pass <laughs> I, yeah, I would, thank you. Uh, now, uh, actually, I, I have for David one very precise question. Actually, you mentioned 
in the, in, in the text, in the catalog, that you sense a little bit of alternative or underground, underground kind of taste of Slovenian contemporary <coughs> And I would ask you if you can elaborate a little bit on that, because I feel that it's very interesting in my mind. Um, yeah, I don't want to repeat what I actually said here in the, in the program, um, but to say <coughs> it's clearly this is just one take on the Slovenian dance. Yeah. And you can never kind of, I mean, it, I'm, I'm very happy to say that no <coughs> program, there's, there's no such program in the world that would totally represent something, so that's a good part of it, so we don't have to stand for it in that sense. Um, I think uh, looking at the, at the whole selection, there was incredible amount of uh, creative potential. Do I need it actually? Um, a lot of uh, potential, and that goes back to the, there was a lot of good ideas and concepts that people are working quite consistently with certain things. I guess the, uh, the sense of alternative or underground comes from the production value that you can also see that people are really making the ends meet. It's, it's made in the conditions which are, are reflected in, in, we can talk about the product, which is maybe a little bit um, sensitive to, to, to talk about it in those terms. Um, and, and yet it doesn't matter as long as the people and the artists who are working want to work in an alternative way or want to um, be work in the original. I mean, there's a lot of things you can say for that too. Um, that's a position you can take. And then another question is if that position is taken <coughs> voluntarily or meaningfully, or that, that's a constant, that's a choice of the artist, or is it just the lack of uh, production uh, subsidies or, or uh, resources that is being there? So that's a, that, that, those are two different things. Um, I personally enjoyed it a lot <laughs> because, as I said in, in the text, there's things that have disappeared when, when, the, when, where the, when the production um, chain becomes very effective. And, and these kind of selections that we made here would, might be impossible to make elsewhere, which is a value in itself too, um, I, I would say. But I think, uh, I think uh, listening to what you just said, the kind of like, you can see that, that Slovenian dance maybe is, is at the verge of, of, of you know, standing in the crossroads, thinking which way should we go in terms of in how to reinstitutionalize our our scene, um, and is it is it needed to do, and how far should we do it, and in whose terms are we making it? How much of it that should be done in in, in relationship in a, in, a, in a real collaboration with the artists, and which part of that should be done with the politicians, and which part of that should be done with the public? Um, so. Um, Yeah, it's very easy to make very overweeping, uh, you know, generalization after looking at so many many DVDs, and it's maybe really really dangerous to. Uh, but those are my first impressions uh, of, of of what I see. Um, did I answer any, any of that? Yeah. If you if you have any further actually remarks, you can do it later when we will have discussion anyway. Yeah. So uh, uh, I will give now the, the, the word to Katya Praznik, who was the part of uh, the working group in the Ministry of Culture that was actually, that had the, the task to prepare materials <coughs> for, for the Contemporary Dance Institution in, in Slovenia. And I think she will, she will give a little bit of, of, of an overview of what we were doing in the last two years, I guess. Thank you very much. I'm sorry my voice is a little bit cracked, um, but uh, so yes. I was actually asked to present the, the establishing document of the new contemporary dance institutions. For, for the student speakers, this is the only act. Uh, and uh, let me begin by giving a brief chronology of the decision-making process on which this document is based. Um, the first thing that should be stressed is that on the April 16, 2009, the resolution of National Program for Culture was accepted in the Parliament, and one of the goals of this resolution 
uh, was to assure institutional regulation for contemporary dance. The measures uh, uh, with which this goal should be achieved were um, uh, the first one, to prepare an all-encompassing study of the entire spectrum of contemporary dance in Slovenia and of the possibilities of institutionalization of contemporary dance and movement theater within the broadest consensus of the members of this field. Okay. Uh, the second uh, measure uh, was uh, a closer collaboration between public institutions and NGOs with the purpose that the more contemporary dance uh, performances would be included in the programs of the public institutions. The expected results of these uh, measures uh, were two, and actually the raising of production and artistic standards of contemporary dance, and the formation of high quality starting points for further development of contemporary dance in Slovenia. Uh, uh, how should this be showed? Uh, um, I mean, how we will prove that these uh, results were achieved is by uh, the results of the four seen studies on the possibilities of, of institutionalization of the dance, and then uh, with the intensive monitoring of the quality and growth of contemporary dance performances, and by the number of dance performances included in the programs of public institutions. So this is a sort of introduction. And then, on the October 13th, uh, 2008, there was a public discussion at the Ministry of Culture in which numerous actors and representatives of the contemporary dance field participated and in which the issues of the institutionalization were discussed. The purpose of the meeting was that the representative of the Ministry of Culture get acquainted with the experienced perspectives and opinions on the matter at hand. The Ministry emphasized that it was important that the consensus was reached among the actors of the contemporary dance scene <coughs> on the institutionalization of the field, and I would add, rightly so. Uh, it was already clear on the first meeting that the notion of the institutionalization should be clearly defined, because the notion could be understood in two ways. Firstly, we can simply make an institution, which of course does not solve the problems <coughs> existing in this field, and secondly, the institutionalization, which means not <coughs> just making an institution, but it really means the regulation of systemic and legal frameworks, uh, organizational models, uh, financial sustainability, working and infrastructural conditions, education, and the positioning of contemporary dance on national and international levels. At the end of this meeting, the participative uh, representatives of the contemporary dance scene were asked to send proposals as to who might be the appropriate candidates to be on the expert committee for institutionalization uh, for contemporary dance. So on the April uh, 20th, 2009, the expert committee met for the first time. Uh, its members are uh, choreographers Matea Bucar, Maya Delak, Morca Kasiak, Goran Bogdanovsky, Isto Kovac, the theorists uh, and critics Rok Weber and myself, and a representative of Ministry of Culture, <coughs> Morca Jan Zoran, who is the head of the Performing Arts Department. Um, and the expert committee had two meetings in 2009, and the outcome of this committee's work was a research study on the institutionalization and networking of contemporary dance in Slovenia. The Ministry of Culture granted 5,000 euros for this research. The research was done by Andrea Kopac and Petra Hazabend under the supervision of the committee's members, Maya Dela, Krok Weber, and myself. Uh, this, reach the, this research listed the current conditions and problems of the contemporary dance field in Slovenia, and moreover, it included a proposed model for Center for Contemporary Dance, conceived so that it would ensure from the formal and content perspective the development of contemporary dance, which is what the resolution uh, of National Cultural Program uh, specifically asked to, uh, for. And uh, these uh, conditions, let me briefly tell you the numbers, are that 
there are 30 organizations which deal with uh, performing uh, with contemporary dance, 58 choreographers, 33 uh, dancers, and 15 festivals. Um, the proposed <coughs> model, uh, which uh, for the Center for Contemporary Dance, uh, would partly solve the most critical existing problems in the contemporary dance field, which are Firstly, lack of rehearsal, working and presentation space. Second, unorganized system of dance education. Third, precarious working conditions of dancers and choreographers. And fourth, lack of resources for post-production and co-production. The model of the, of the Center for Contemporary Dance was structured based on the satisfaction of three concentric uh, circles of needs ranging from minimum basic needs to the optimal conditions. The most critical problem which was left open was of course the legal framework for such a center. It would be extremely difficult for uh, any existing legal framework in Slovenia to support the proposed model because of the unreformed public sector and culture in Slovenia. Therefore, a second research was made to explore which existing legal framework would be best suited to support the expert committee's proposed model. A special note should be made at this point that the first research was made without any concrete information on the resources that the Ministry of Culture was planning to, to commit uh, to this endeavor. Uh, on the November 25, 2010, the last meeting of the expert committee took place. Beforehand, um, uh, the expert committee members were sent the second research entitled Legal Basis of the Possibilities for Institutionalization of Contemporary Dance, Implementation and Realization of a Model. The research presented three legal frameworks on which the institution could be based, but the expert committee never got a chance to give its opinion on these frameworks. For this meeting, the expert committee was informed that the Ministry of Culture has already decided which legal framework would be the best for the institutionalization of contemporary dance. This is establishing a public institution uh, for the student speakers, Jan Zau. <coughs> So, neither the legal frameworks nor the ministry decision on which framework they would use uh, took into account the problems that we listed in the first research. Uh, the proposed model that would solve those problems, actually, they didn't take into account any of the expert committee's contributions to this endeavor at all. Uh, incidentally, this was also the meeting where the ministry finally informed the members of the committee how much money they were willing to invest in this important endeavor. This is 800,000 euros. The second research uh, also estimated that it would be necessary to assure from 1.70,000 euros, 1,070,000 euros to 1,230,000 euros for a newly established dance institution. The decided legal framework of the proposed public institution is based on similar institutions in the theater field whose score is the ensemble of actors. But unlike actors, dancers cannot dance until their retirement. So besides the employment ensemble, ensemble model for dancers, the research also proposed the option that the dancers would be engaged on the contract basis. Though this is vaguely related to the ex expert committee's recommendations, it should also be stressed here that the expert committee never reached the consensus that an ensemble of dancers should be the core of the newly established dance institution. At this point, the expert committee found itself in a quite absurd situation because the discussion on legal frameworks could not be held as the Ministry of Culture already decided that public institution is the best way to solve the institutionalization of dance. Moreover, the Ministry of Culture has decided this way even though the second research explicitly warned that this type of institution has serious problems because of its rigid structure and where the development of contemporary dance is not really possible. Besides that, it is not officially clear what is the site, location, building of this newly established dance institution. 
it should be stressed here that the establishing document, which I'm supposed to present, was written without any concrete information or facts, and it was written within the limitations that this type of institution uh, represents on the legal and management level. No public discussion of either the first or the second research were ever held, even though they were requested by some members of the expert committee. Until the last meeting in November 2010, the expert committee was never informed of the financial resources that the Ministry of Culture is planning to invest to the institutionalization, despite numerous demands of its members for this information. So, the best that the expert committee could do at this point was to try to build uh, uh, in ideas and important principles gathered from the first research, uh, and we try to build in these ideas in the mission and purpose statements of this establishing document. Unfortunately, the concrete reality, that is, the way the decisions were made, the way that the expert committee was ignored, the way that we were not given the facts we needed to do our work, the insufficient 800,000 euros investment, and the fact that there is no suitable site, location, or building have nothing to do with the ideas and principles built in this mission and purpose statements of the institution. So as promised, here are the crucial elements of this establishing document of the new contemporary dance institution that the expert committee has composed. Uh, first principle, the, the, the assurance of permanent rehearsal, working and presentational spaces, meaning two stages and eight rehearsing studios. Uh, second principle, in these institutions there should be a coexistence of different aesthetic and production practices of contemporary dance. The purpose of the new dance institution should be creation, presentation, education, exploration and promotion of different aesthetic and production practices of contemporary dance. The third principle, the key activities of the dance institution should be production, co-production, post-production, <coughs> international exchange and networking, presentation and promotion, education, research activities in the field of contemporary dance theory and history, and also publishing, supporting activities such as administrative, legal, social and health consulting, recording and archiving of the performances, research and coordination of rehearsal spaces for artists and groups. The fourth thing is the management structure. Within this frame, which is pretty set, there are two boards. First is the uh, supervisory board, which has seven members. Uh, the mandate of these members, uh, we recommend it should be four years, and it can only be repeated twice, which means two mandates. Uh, two of the members of this supervisory board uh, could be representatives of the authorities. One has to be the member of the employed workers in this institution, and four other members of this supervisory board should be uh, members of the expert in the interest groups of the field. This board is also the one who is naming the members of the management board, which is actually worth the name. The management board we recommended should have three members. Their mandate should also be four years and could also be only repeated two times. It means two members. And these three members of the management board are artistic director, which is taking care of production, co-production and post-production, director for international collaboration and promotion, who is taking care of international collaboration and networking, programming of the international performances and exchanges in the local and international space. The third uh, member of this management board is the business director who is taking care of business, financial, legal matters and human resources. Uh, one more thing which we added and found important is that neither of the artistic directors, because two are actually artistic and one is more business like, so two, both of the artistic directors may not be uh, authors of the production while they are serving their mandate in order that the institution does not become privatized or used for personal interest. 
And we also envisioned nine service uh, uh, employments related uh, to this management board, which means that uh, these nine services and the people who would uh, do these kinds of these jobs would be um, uh, would, would be connected with the mandate of the of the board. And these uh, these uh, these positions sh we plan should be head of production, project manager, head of public relations technical director, business secretary, head of theory and research activities, head of educational activities, expert for audience development and community outreach. So at this point now that the concrete uh, financial resources are known, uh, whereas the facilities are not known, I suggest that today we discuss the following questions and that the representatives of the ministry address the following questions. What are the priorities of the dance scene if we take into account the actual financial resources available for the institutionalization of dance? Do we need working, rehearsing spaces or presentation spaces? And what should come first? If we can already conclude that the financial needs, that is 800,000 euros, are insufficient neither for building a new place, neither to assure work and presentation spaces at once. The next question, wouldn't it be wise to make a budgetary simulation of what is possible with ensured financial needs and discuss this sim sim simulation publicly? If the contempor uh, contemporary, uh, uh, if the Center for Contemporary Dance will not have enough rehearsal space, which was listed as the most critical existing need of the dance scene in the first research, which of the actual problems that the institutionalization of dance should solve will actually be addressed? How will the conflictual interest of the dance scene be solved when deciding upon the management board of the new dance institution? Which services of the new dance institutions should be a priority if only 800,000 euros are available? Due to the fact that 8,000 euros, uh, due to the 800,000 euros, is it feasible that we create a shrunken model of the dance center where rehearsal and workspaces would be ensured as the number one priority? And when can we expect to see the, uh, the Center for Contemporary Dance uh, operating? And what are the actual intentions of the Ministry of Culture? Uh, is this an adaptation of an already existing building? Is this a renting of an existing building? Or is this giving the money to a single already existing NGO, in effect making them the core organization of a new dance center? Or is it possible that a, board, that a broad alliance of dance NGOs would manage a new dance center? Okay. Katya, thank you for your... Um, <coughs> Uh, report somehow and also for the question that you gave at the end. We have at least some questions already included in our plan, but some of them well, I'm sure that uh, can be discussed uh, uh, later. At in, in the second part, I would ask you immediately to give, you, uh, to give us uh, one more info that I, I'm sure that you have. What is now the approximate budget that contemporary dance actually gets from the municipalities and the Ministry of Culture. If you can, I think the approximate budget. No, I mean, I can't tell you the approximate budget because these figures are hard to calculate mm -hmm. because we don't have uh, registers mm -hmm. which would, we would have to calculate for each particular organization okay. and some of them are um, exclusively dedicated to contemporary dance, some are doing okay. perfor dance performance and some are not. But uh, one, uh, one general uh, number which can be uh, extracted from the financial report of the Ministry for Culture is that uh, approximately 5 uh, million euros are given uh, for the NGOs programs uh, uh, in the arts. For, but for all, all yes. the visual yes. arts, yes. music, yes. All the, all the, 5 million. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. approximately. But this is the, the this is not, all, probably not the exact number because these yeah. um, financial reports are hard to read and they are not standardized by, by certain units so that we could actually 
we, we would actually have to ask each uh, particular NGO mm -hmm. how much money they actually got they for certain production. It's possible to say, for example, for performing art, or is it not? No, no, no I, 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 and I cannot say. <laughs> Around uh, two million or most of the budget goes for the public institutions. Yeah. Is but this is yeah. like besides this five million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So <coughs> you can get, the, for example, the picture of the amount of money from this five million that goes for all the arts <coughs> in the NGO sector. <coughs> now I would. Um, I will thank you uh, for this um, elaborated uh, report. Can I ask one question for clarification? This sum of 800,000 euro, is it a renewable annual revenue grant or is it a one-off sum for capital development? This will be done with the representative of the Ministry of the because I'm not yeah, sure. But, but I, I, it's absolutely I, I, crucial to any kind of understanding yeah, of what Please, said. please, uh, when Storm Perko has We'll have the, we'll, we'll have a word. Perhaps that he he can answer that. But <laughs> let's stick to the plan, and we will have the the possibility to discuss said, later on. It was said to the this expert who that eight hundred thousand euros is planned this year. So, but I don't know if it's the, the, the Steinbeck will have a word <laughs> later, and he will explain all of this. Uh, I would now I would now invite uh, Bertram Miller from Tanzhaus Düsseldorf and uh, Francesc um, Casabesus uh, from uh, Mercado de les Flores from Barcelona to give us a little bit insight uh, about what actually what this European Dance House Network, which is uh, somehow the idea of dance houses, it's somehow the institutions of, 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 for, for contemporary dance. Uh, what is the difference between, between different, different models of dance houses in Europe? Uh, and, and we would also ask you to give us a little bit, for example, data about your budgets, approximate budgets that you operate with on the in yearly. Well, uh, I'm the director and founder of the Dance House in Düsseldorf. Uh, we started from the scratch. Uh, now we have three and a half million euro uh, budget. We have three thousand uh, people a week, uh, two and a half thousand per week, two and a half thousand students a week. We have professional classes, children classes, none of the children. Uh, we have eighteen uh, co-productions a year um, and two hundred. Performances. This is uh, our format. We developed over the years from the sketch. Um, uh, now, uh, what uh, made a dance house emerge 40 years ago in London and later, uh, a little bit later in other places? There was a need for this kind of structure. The need was um, the, in the independence of dance as an art form the individuality, the race of the individuality of artists who went out of institutions and found their individual way to create. They need freedom. Uh, especially, this is an ephemeral art form, which uh, does not need so much representation or preservation in museums, but they need support to life art, creation, new creation, to transform our life experience into art at the moment. Uh, so, dance was a need to find a new structure, which also was uh, feasible for the, the dynamic mobile world which uh, developed over the last uh, 20 years. And dance was one of the most mobile art forms, and it was a coalition also with the multimedia, uh, and YouTube, half of YouTube is dance. So uh, it's an it's, it's art form for the future uh, in our society. So all these factors and many others which you know, I just mentioned, uh, made it reasonable to find a new, uh, um, a new structure uh, uh, for artists, which was the artist in the focus, the needs, and the respect of the indie, independence, independency uh, and, uh, um, 
and acceptance of his uniqueness. Uh, this can be only be a structure which has no power structure, but a supportive idea of networking, of using synergies in a local scene. There is no one alike. There is no one model, because we don't believe in one truth. We don't believe in one art form. We don't believe in what is the best. We believe in a dynamic process of dialogue of people of a local scene, at best, who have a vision to develop uh, their, their audience, their, art, their own art forms, in a dialogue with international exchange, because you get impulses not only uh, uh, in, in your own uh, mind, and your own thing, but uh, in the dialogue. Um, so there's not one lone profile, and there's not only a building. It's an idea, first of all, who finds the best structure to support the independency, the freedom of artists, at best. Uh, and uh, we, um, we found a profile, it's not to be me meant to be the only profile which is possible, and we don't even think it's the best, but it's one, which differs, for example, from choreographic center, which is fine. Choreographic center is given to one artist to develop his art for a time uh, and develop. But uh, it has legs to communicate with the audience. It has, uh, uh, it's uh, not available for others. So a dance house uh, has a profile which is characterized uh, like, such like a local as well as an international programming, an annual performance season, all production, co-production and guest artists. Support for independent dance artists and dedicated to dance, theory, and research. The, it has a focus on audience development, which means, if possible, con continuing education for professionals as well as amateurs. We believe also that to teach amateurs develops the understanding of art forms and develops and helps to develop the arts. And so dance house is not isolated from education. We bridge communication in a, in a cafe, in a restaurant, in, 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 in community rooms, education in classes, all levels, and performances. Uh, we are or, audience oriented uh, with um, public information centers, meeting places, and um, social and corporate dedicated representative to represent politically dance as an independent art form. These are uh, some kind of a profile which differs from other structures and um, which um, is a creative adjustment to the possibilities uh, of uh, the political and cultural scene of one cent and the needs in for the future of dance form. And uh, yeah. since we focus on the creative process, we together <coughs> developed a structure, how one structure, how this could be done, and about this kind of format, Jess will uh, talk about modal dance now. Thank you, uh, it is true that uh, after uh, getting together and defining a possible model, uh, we also start talking with the different partners in different countries, and we saw, of course, that the structures are very different uh, at the level of budget. With their structures with budgets under 300,000 euros, and their structures with budgets over 6 million euros. Uh, there are structures with uh, uh, normally uh, we define also the need for having a presentation, so with stage presentations with studios, very important uh, also for uh, the working and uh, different phases of the creation process and also documentation centers or different possibilities. But what we really uh, uh, try to, to find is how could we work together, different models, different uh, possibilities, different dance houses in Europe, and uh, how could we work together for the benefit of the artist, how could we in a way support the artist in all the process of creation. Uh, we then uh, decided to think on the artistic creation process and divide it in four different moments, four different stadiums. We thought it's necessary to have a stadium which we call the research moment, where there's a moment where you uh, kind of uh, 
do a research, exchange with other artists, and find time and space to think about your ideas, we thought that would be necessary to have some um, residency spaces where you uh, you stay in one space, one room, one studio to develop your ideas. There is another need which we call the production mix. That's when you actually, after you've done the residency, you need some other kind of support. It might be support on production, it might be money for production, it might be help with how to fill in the papers, uh, uh, also management uh, skills, help for production. And then there's another very important moment, which is the diffusion moment where you present your work and you, in a way, make it visible on this work. So these different moments have different needs and they are, they are all necessary. So you, there is a, a, the idea that you have to find, in a way, uh, understand uh, everything as a system. So all the, all the moments are necessary. To, uh, the system needs uh, the, different, uh, the different access, which we call this uh, uh, education moment, when there's development of skills. Whereas the creation, when you need, you kind of uh, need some time and space to develop ideas, there is uh, the network moment where you have to share, exchange, and make possible between the different uh, different people uh, make the complete picture of the whole thing. So it's not that only one has to do it, has to do everything, but you can make possible the different <coughs> stadiums by collaborating with each other. And there's uh, also, of course, the moment of uh, audience development where you have the right audience for the right uh, artist at the right moment. So all this makes the picture of what we call uh, a project model dance that is a way of collaborating different dance houses in Europe uh, for the benefit of artists and independents. Well, uh, <coughs> when we say we, the interesting thing is that we know each other and we can we know the structure of different, the 18 different dance houses, the partners, and that is very important because then we can advise an artist to go to Paris or to Aro or uh, because they are the best for, for this. No, uh, no dance house has all the best facilities for a particular artist. But uh, we are, as, as we are partners, we can advise them, and this is exactly the structure of modal dance. Uh, our EU project that we we start a discussion uh, uh, with an artist what he needs next in the fourth stage and through our partnership we are able to give him uh, the best structure in the 18s in this case uh, usually mostly in four different partners institutions so this is a partnership structure a European dance house uh, an umbrella which uh, supports artists from all over Europe within this structure. Now, Chris from Slovenia is the part, uh, is the partner or member of uh, European Dance House Network. We don't, have, Maribor, no, we don't have a partner for the network. We have partners for the project. Uh -huh, for the project. So, uh, the network is actually when okay. what Breton defined as when, when uh, we, have a, uh, we find a partner that has the characteristics of Dance House. But for the project, we have different partners which are not necessarily dance houses, uh, partners that can collaborate with us, sometimes also media institutions for the visibility, and uh, our partners in Slovenia is uh, Kino Shishka and Vesna and Maribor for uh, different moments of this creation process, which have to do with, uh, for example, residencies or so on. Okay, thank you very much. Now I will invite Stoyan Pelko. <coughs> It's uh, State Secretary at the Ministry of Culture to actually to, to say, I, I, I guess you, you, you got a lot of questions along the way that we somehow expect, expect from you to answer. And we would like to ask you to give us a, some clue about uh, what, uh, about the plan. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to present the points and I think you will see that most of answers are already, are already in this point, but if not, should later. Let me be a little bit subjective in the beginning. I sincerely don't believe that the confrontation is the only way of solving solutions. So I would like to say that uh, not only that you are welcome here, but I don't always believe that the empowerment of NGOs is making them so powerful players that then all the rest will be just humble service. You should understand that what we are dealing here 
is a certain pragmatism of a certain number of years, of a certain number of money. And I would like to be very pragmatic on what we are dealing with. But understanding of all goals. But for those of you who speak French, you would understand uh, Gilles Deleuze's quotation, quand vous êtes futur dans le rêve des autres, vous êtes, quand vous êtes pris dans le rêve des autres, vous êtes futur. When you are caught in the dreams of the other people, then. So it's really essential not to be just projecting dreams. And that's why I'm subjective to tell you that when we came here with Madam Minister two, two years ago, there was a 10 year long project that never happened. And then the Minister of Culture, in the first year, doubled, literally doubled, the money for program vendors for dance. And since the money was mentioned from 400,000 euros to 800,000 euros, it happened in one year, despite all the crisis between 2009 and 2010. And then, knowing that we have to do something with the institutionalizations, we found an extra, extra 800,000 euros in the time of crisis, putting it on an extra budgetary line. So the answer to your question so is yes, every year from now. Every year. So what we are dealing now in March is that we know that for the next year, this year and next year, we have a million and a half. And our question to our colleagues, whether the institute, both NGOs and inside the house, was, can we do something with this? And they said, yes, no problem. We have the expert group. Here it is. Not only this, we have the uh, analysis of legal status. And not only this, we said, yes, we have money. And the question, and here, uh, I would like to be pragmatic. The question is, what then to do with all this knowledge, with all this money? But when I say that confrontation is not the only way, it is extremely difficult to answer to the demands that are unsolvable. We could not be the peacemakers between all the interests. Never. You know. You know. And also, we cannot create three million out of one. We cannot. Because this is like it. And you, you are, for me, your speech was extremely optimistic because we are not from the scratch. We have all the dimension. And our ambition is that in three to five years, we have an institute, institution that will have a budget between three and five million. And then it will be great if we have all the numbers that you mentioned. But we are now, and the idea was, and here is where I get into the pragmatic part, what can we do? Not in two years, but in a year and a half, with a million and a half, with all the knowledge. And we are lacking something, because we don't have three millions. So what are we lacking more? Are we lacking more people, programs, or spaces? And since we know that the programs are here, that people are all around us, we said, is there somebody that can help us in this first moment? Not to start a chantier, uh, not to start a uh, building. And we said, hey, you were yesterday evening there. Can we do something with the city of Lugan to start? And this was the first one. So what, and uh, I, I would like to be very uh, open and say which, which were the two main dangers that we faced. One was, as you, exactly as you mentioned, the choreographer center. It would be killing for the whole scene to say, hey, you are the one, you are the one, you are the one, here's the money, do whatever you want. We were explained. By our partners that even in Zagreb this mistake was done, it's not good. Because it will not be the, I would say, the, the, the meetings of different independent artistic or poetic, but it will be, it could be the city gesture, but it would never be the state gesture. State should not do it. This was first. So we could easily put the money on one hand, it would be a mistake. But also, I think, and this is the, uh, this is, I think, the mistake that you're making. We could easily put the million and a half in, in space. But still, the, the scene wouldn't have the, the, the big or the symbolic national institution. So, you know, is, of course, it is not the result of the big discussion. Because the Ministry of Culture could be in two positions. Would be, like a complete ignorant coming today here and say, hey, what do you have to tell us? Or 
we could combine a certain simulation, came to you and say, hey, this is what you're thinking. It's not close. It's not, it's not, it's never, uh, it will be over, not just after this discussion, but it will be over when we will see that all the links are getting together. So it is not, uh, how to say, uh, the situation that is already uh, institutionalized. No, our idea is first to establish a national institution called Center for Contemporary Dance, comparable with other national institutions, to appoint a shield for the most of the executive uh, I don't know. For, for yeah. this year, acting director, for this year, 2011, with a very particular task to create all the legal and institutional conditions for a center that would be, as you mentioned, the start of the production center, the rehearsal center, the, the official side of this institution, but extremely important, also the threat for for international promotion and education. So there is never no way written that this money for this year will go to walls or to program. It is up to the side. But it is here. It is here. And then it, together, parallel with this, to sign an agreement with the city of Ljubljana that this virtual structure, which is a national structure, during the time of lack of a real new spaces for this, could land, this, this, this platform could land on something existing where the city of Lublin could be placed, the free use of this place, and the cost of maintenance. This is a pragmatic way of seeing what the state and the city will do better. But we didn't, and I, I will <coughs> say this exactly, we didn't subsidize Istok Kovac Center in Ljubljana Contemporary Density. No, it would be a mistake. We know this. But could, could you speak? Yeah, of course. Sorry. But there is another, there is a fifth point. So, national institution, an agreement between city and the state, appointing of acting director that will be a cultural manager, not one of the choreographers. No, it's the task that Simon got for Kina Shishka, it's the task that Nina Peche got for Kim of the World. We learn from experience here in the city. And uh, for our guests, I would say the best examples in the last few years we can learn from the people who are inside this institution. Sometimes close hands, they got to the municipal level and they, and they became efficient. Why? Because it's, it's faster, it's less decisions, it's more money sometimes. And we think that even state can learn something. So, it is not that we are hiding, that we are learning for this institution, from Kina Shishka, from Kina Gore, from existing program institutions, but not forgetting that it has to be the mini boss in Moscow, Sobota, in Maribor. It has to be a national sense. So it, it's obvious, and this is uh, not that it's not, not negotiable, but this is our view. This is our so four, uh, five points. National institution, acting director, is a very particular task of us. First year, an agreement between city and the state, and then tender for a management team, including both artistic and managerial structure. And this is the field where the battle begins. So we are not the one to say this is the right concept between stable, permanent group, or coalition of companies, or one head. No, it is something that has to be taught through the tender of the best thing. It's not a question of the, the, the acting director now to establish the structure. And then it will be the real, I would say, competition of concepts. And uh, so our position right now is that less than that would be, if you permit me this word, we would be non-efficient cowards. We would be like, hey, we still don't know what to do. We, we think that this is the way to solve something. But more than that, more than that, would be arbitrary and forced. And it will be making damage to the scene that is already very heterogeneous and very structured in a way. And uh, Barbara can uh, be a witness that uh, on one chart in my office there is written three options. Upgrade, virtual, and in between, like subsidizing a local coalition. And the, 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 this third is crossed because, no, we are not doing this. Because it, 
we will never reach the national status. But this option that is right now here is the obvious lack of not having three millions per year, but having one and a half in the first two years, beside all the program countries. So <coughs> the last mark of my point, and this is where the city and the state come together again, comes together, come together again, is that the long-term solution we all know <coughs> have to be in three to five years in the a center for contemporary arts of different things. And the city is planning this, and we know that we can in a long-term basis, once we luckily finish this national opera and travels, we will be at least able to think about it. But for the moment, it's like this. I mean, you understand our situation. We came here at the end of 2011, uh, 2008, and we will be gone out of this house in 2012. So our task was, can we do something in between with the money that we found extra for this, and to learn from all of you. And that's why, uh, before coming here, Madam Minister, myself, to Barbara, we were saying, hey, it's a big privilege to have all this experience here. And it would be really a shame to use today's opportunity just to repeat another quarter that we already have here today. My task, and uh, I will be unfortunately in the similar position that Madam Minister to give in a few minutes, but Barbara's task will be to, to get as much as possible from Barcelona, Düsseldorf, or other institutions to see where are uh, hidden dangers in, in, in the future. But I hope to understand why we don't want to be non-efficient cowards. cowards. And anyway, why we don't want to be non-democratic, uh, arbitrary leaders. We want to be unfroidant bastards. Then I would ask uh, four directors, three directors of NGOs that actually manage the spaces that program Contemporary Dance in Ljubljana to speak. Nevenka Kopriusek is the director of the uh, Old Electricity House. It's very, the venue that it's very near here. Uh, Istok Kovac choreographer and artistic director of Spansky Boards in Moscow, the place that you were that you, that you were watching the performance yesterday in. Then uh, Gila Bretz uh, from Dance Theater of Ljubljana, the uh, director of Dance Theater of Ljubljana venue that it's that you are going to no, that you were also actually you you are also there yesterday watching Pagabasta, I think. And then, um, so then we will hear also the, um, some um, observations of uh, Simon Cardun, director of Kino Shishka. Kino Shishka is the institution, it's not NGO, it's an institution that was funded, I think, founded two years ago in the, another district of Ljubljana, and it's, uh, and Simon will, will tell <coughs> what it's somehow it's story. Uh, I would ask uh, <clears throat> all of you to give a little bit of insight what you are dealing with. Please don't lament too much because we are very <laughs> fed up with the care implementation for the last, we've been hearing this for the last, last 20 years and tell, for example, what the problem, the concrete problems that you are dealing with, uh, with in, in, your, in your houses, let's say, and uh, uh, the ways that you see these problems could be or should be solved. I would ask, uh, I would ask the event to do. Thank you, Rukh. Um, first of all, I would like to, 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 to greet kind of the, the, that people are sitting together, that we are creating a platform for a dialogue and discussion, and there are some serious plans that things could be or should be changed. So this is like something which is, let's say, positive side. Um, one thing I would just, before answering your question, I would like to go a little bit back, because I, I feel it a little bit frustrating uh, that after 20 years, we are still talking about one exactly the same problem when we talk about legal frame of possible institutions. We all know that the production in contemporary arts has changed, the way of production changed a lot in last, 20, 30 years, but we are still talking about two, two models of organizing. 
the public institutions and NGO. And we have a big gap in between. So why again we have we know how it was difficult for Kino Shishka. We know that now we are again confronting the same. How is it so difficult to change this legal frame that let's say some new open institutions which would have some stabilities, but also national meaning, local meaning, but also be more stable and more dynamic and active and proactive. So when when we when I hear about new new I think this is for me one of the core's problem that should be and must be I mean it shouldn't be that difficult, I don't know. Um, then uh, when asking when we talk about uh, then let's say how I don't know if this institutionalization is the right word, but let's say how can we get better conditions for contemporary dance to develop, to grow in the proper conditions in, uh, in locally and also, as we know, the dance field is now international, international scene also. I mean, most of the companies, even your companies, is now, we are talking about, uh, about uh, uh, European companies now somehow. And of course, on one hand, if I, I have to go a little bit back to to now, we missed the opportunities in the 90s, in 90s to really to really um, to to grab on the opportunity that contemporary dance had in had in the 90s, and it is a little bit difficult now to repair the to, to repair what we have missed. Mm -hmm. So we have to find uh, we have we have to find conditions for re, for the concrete development of, of, of the dance scene. Now I go back to what we have been asked. Um, so, Stara Litran, maybe even Mozart, maybe you could tell more because you are, you are the one who is dealing on everyday basis, programming and coordinating. But major problems are that we are the garage. We are the garage, which means that uh, we, we, can, we are trying to make a kind of uh, artistic profile of the planning of... <coughs> but since we just... We are subsidized. We have it's very particular situation because we are based in the, in the heart of the factory with only only some technical uh, limitations. The the the, the venue is not equipped. I mean, we are we have our technicians are borrowing our the, the curtains. We have certain projectors, etc. This is not a limitation, but it's just just people that often, when they come to the venue, they don't know that actually we have to build the theater each time we we do a performance in it. Who is the founder of all of the electricity housing? This dark context problems that you have. Um, well, the, the, the house is owned by Electro Business, Electro Vidiana, uh, which is 79% owned by the state still. Uh, then the Ministry of Culture has a contract with Electro Vidiana of three leases, which is uh, expiring every three years, right? so we have to renovate. So now, now maybe one good news, one hint is that actually there are good chances, there, are, there is willing, willingness after a lot of lobbying and also efforts of the ministry to, to extend this contract for 10 years, which is a good news, okay. which means that finally maybe we will have opportunity that people will invest in the, in the space, which now everything, city says how should we invest in the building, which just for three years, so this is, Let's say there is some hope, but it's um, in Bunker, we are together with all the Bunker team, we are preparing now also the vision for it, etc. Um, definitely, definitely we have to be questioned, maybe this is also an opportunity now that we have more infrastructure, like Kino Shishka, Stara Spanski Borci, and still we have a PTL in the way, uh, and also Tsantari Udomia. Now we have, I think we will have to read into the profiles of mm -hmm. those venues, this is one thing but also to already to, I mean, it would be, I would say before really building a new one, we should really consider uh, this, this infrastructure is under, un, under, it's not equipped and it has no program anymore, maybe. So this is this is one of the basic problems we have. If we talk about, yeah? Okay. I, I will stop you here because we are running out of time a little bit. Mm. Let's. Let but just maybe one, okay. one thing, maybe because of what was saying before, if we talk about national, national, new national institutions, I think we should look more, more in, largely in the entire Slovenian scene. I think we should definitely create a platform for creation and distribution of performances all around Slovenia and make more, let's say, choreographic centers 
more in different centers in, 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 in the state. I think this, this would be for me more concrete vision, but which doesn't mean that companies which has proved and worked for, for, for years shouldn't get more proper funding. Okay. Let's give a word to his talk, Kovac. Um, artistic choreographer of uh, and club group and artistic director of uh, Span Sport. Yeah. Um, well, I agree with uh, Zgrenka perfectly. And, uh, the whole structure, um, just a few words about transport. It basically yesterday. Uh, we have a very specific uh, obligatory uh, contract with the city of Tirana, which is the owner of the space. And, uh, our vision is basically to develop a residential center, to, to build two more studios there. They have some plans, some hints, so uh, to equip the stage with better technical equipment and to, to, to raise money for uh, a bigger international exchange production. Okay. Zhiva uh, Pretz from Dance Theatre of Ljubljana. Yeah, hello to everybody. Um, I agree with both, with Nevenka and Nestor, of course. I think the, the main problem is, in fact, I mean, as da dance theater is a small venue, many of you were there yesterday. Um, it was, I think, the first space um, um, subsidized by the Ministry of Culture and the city of Ljubljana. Um, they gave money to, to rebuild an old uh, space which was uh, used by pensioners, local community, uh, into, in fact, a, a small theater. Uh, from that time on, the legal status uh, stays the same. We are still in um, kind of, we are sharing the space with pensioners. They still have one, one uh, room for uh, meetings, so we ha somehow have to adapt our dancers with the old guys coming in and out. But otherwise, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> otherwise, our program is um, uh, production oriented. We deal exclusively with productions of contemporary dance. Uh, we stage productions. We uh, enter collaborations with uh, either. Uh, domestic uh, uh, pro production houses or internationally because we, we come somehow are focused on, on creators. Uh, our budget is small. We are all the time trying to get more money because uh, the, the uh, space itself uh, belongs to the city of Ljubljana, which I think now six years ago canceled um, applications for special funding to, uh, to for uh, uh, space use and uh, uh, refurbishing this kind of stuff, painting the walls and so on. So uh, we have a special contract with town as also Spansky Borci for managing the space, which says that uh, to be a good owner, you have to deal with the problems you have in your own house. So this goes also out of the money we get in the total from the funding for program. So the problem is, uh, uh, comes down to that, that the choreographers who work with us, um, if they are independent, they, they already get some funding for their project, but when they come to our house, um, this problem occur, uh, who is going to pay for the technical uh, stuff, because everybody is uh, financed on a basis of uh, author's fees for projects only. We don't have regular staff. No, only one person is employed in PTL. This lack of funding um, is always a problem. So um, I think this, I, I would go back to this uh, talking that we had. It is very important to have an institution, but as well it is very important uh, that we get some better funding for what we already do in the houses that are already exi existing. Because many uh, artists, especially on the field of contemporary dance, are independent. They uh, just uh, come to, to, to us or to Nevenka or to Istok to make a production. So 
in this way we somehow have all to find uh, or get some more security in what we do. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's give a word to Simon Cardon. Simon Cardon, the artist director of, of Kino Shishka, which is the public institution founded by the city of Ljubljana two years ago. And uh, actually what I would ask you is, what, what I would like to know is what's the difference, for example, with the cases of NGOs managing the space and the Kino Shishka now, uh, and for which artistic practices actually exist. Well, I will just ask you for the translation, because I I, that kind I will be very clear. I will be very short. Okay? For our dearest European colleagues, of course. Kim Šiška is to obstaja v tvoriti naprej eno lijo in pol. Kaj je sveče bliski posebno? Kim Šiška has been existing for one year and a half now. To je ustanova it's a public institution founded by the city or municipality of Ljubljana. And it's quite clear that it's the space that it's open, uh, open that the, the, the public institution that it's open for different artistic practices. Sodobni pres samo el cipin, ali drugače rečeno, večinome je Kinošiška kot javni prostor posvečen kreativnim industrijam, če hoče to urbani kulturi. The contemporary dance is just one practice that Kinošiška is a program in, and the Kinošiška is mostly, it's pro, it's actually the program certainly, Creative industries and agriculture. Uh, 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 uh -huh. uh, there is one one big there is one one big difference between what Stoy and Pelko the said about the um, said about this uh, the current situation current situation in the in the field of contemporary dance. Um, Simon says for twenty years ago we've been talking about the same dreams. Dreams. about the dreams. <laughs> Aha, okay. Uh, Simon is talking from the position of ex-public uh, employee as a minister of uh, we are talking very pragmatically, and I will repeat the, the words of the uh, general secretary. Okay. Uh, actually, the. Um, there, all, there has always been the, uh, the financial support for contemporary dance, but there, wa there was never a strategic support of con for contemporary dance, and it was today it was the first for the first time that it was publicly clearly stated. And this was uh, actually mentioned by the politicians. Uh -huh. This means that uh, we should stuck to his statement and we should demand of him what he actually stated today. Uh -huh. And the way that the state actually spoke up through his mouth is uh, 
pragmatic uh, uh, and the, the, uh, the only possible, but there is what there was all something. Uh, the Ministry of Culture declares or promises to the contemporary dancing that it will found uh, a contemporary dance institution. Uh, it promises the, 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 the budget that is uh, actually the subsidies by the law and the budget on the manual level. Manual. 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 Uh, the time is now uh, that the state actually funds for the Christ sake, that funds for the Christ sake the public institution for contemporary dance after 20 years of fighting. This is necessary and urgent. The the, the second step is that the state makes a deal with the municipality of Ljubljana that actually oh, that actually solves the status of Spanski Borci. For example. Yeah. I'm sorry, I and find a way to profile Spanski Borci or any other institution. But not necessary the model uh, the third step is to uh, the, the, the third step is to think about what was said here about uh, legal, framework. legal framework about the uh, the best model for contemporary dance institution. Simon stated that the system, the legal system, is very rigid of what is possible. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh -huh, and it's it contradiction with contemporary it's dance production solutions. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, the Stoyan last, last week Stoyan Pelko stated publicly that he will reform the public sector in the arts and culture. Uh, 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 the Bo, 
that if, if I summarize actually uh, Simon stated that it's very important what Katya stated that uh, actually the authorities has to think about the modulation and optimization of what <coughs> already exists and uh, this means also that it somehow actually uh, it's um, working to all runs to Slovenia because it yeah, ha, ha, actually, yeah, it's uh, the, 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 the possibility of Slovenian dance network and uh, like Simon stated also that Slo uh, Slovenian dance scene uh, actually <coughs> tends to become very self-sufficient and if becomes such uh, uh, the odd, uh, it won't have any audiences. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, uh, I would ask. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the translator. Of, uh, now I will ask. Excuse Janice. me. Can I add just a few okay. words? Uh, I would like to add that uh, the five uh, points or steps which were uh, were pointed by Storm Pirko, uh were very real. And uh, the step will be done in a few next few months. So uh, it's a real uh, strategic plan, or what you want. So okay. So to conclude this first part, I will ask uh, the director Yanis um, Yansha to to give some comments on what he heard in this last hour <laughs> and to open up perhaps some, uh, to, to give us some clues for the later discussion that will uh, take place after the opening uh, break. One option is that I do this after the break, seeing that people are already kind, kind of tired. Yeah? Okay. It means that we and everything is different positions actually declare uh, Thank you for the invitation and for patience. I don't know if I can say something uh, substantially, but uh, maybe instead of commenting uh, things which have been said, maybe I will propose some thoughts also uh, about uh, uh, redefining or defining some, uh, some concepts. Uh, here, because uh, I know that the uh, the, the the pragmatism uh, is a kind of uh, highest uh, uh, ideological term in neoliberal conditions in which we live. Uh, but uh, as much as we had uh, non-pragmatic decisions in a communist regime, which were a disaster, uh, I think uh, we learned also. Uh, that the pragmatic decisions which were taken in neoliberal conditions uh, uh, took us also to uh, uh, many disasters already. So uh, to say like in three months we will solve the problem of the uh, contemporary dance in Slovenia sounds very pragmatic and everybody is euphoric yeah? uh, about this, but maybe it's uh, good to think a little bit uh, about this. Uh, I'm totally uh, with the uh, broad understanding of the institutionalization of uh, the field and I would n uh, definitely not link it to uh, a house or center or, or any institution. Uh, maybe next to this would be uh, good to put the term prof professionalization in the very term of that uh, concept, which means that somebody who uh, works in the field of dance as a dancer, producer, choreographer, writer, uh, uh, technician, and so on, lives, makes living out of it. That means professionalization. Yeah? I do my profession. Yeah? Uh, because then you see what are the consequences, and then we come to the point that maybe 800,000 will be needed just for profession professionalization before even thinks about entering in a non-existing uh, building yet, or an existing one. So I would go maybe for different parameters of institutionalization and give maybe some comments uh, and ideas to think about. Uh, so <clears throat> the first, uh, maybe I'll list them, and I will certainly forget, but like to have an overview of uh, what makes 
an art field. I would rather use the term art field and not art discipline. So uh, I want to go beyond disciplinization, and particularly dance is an art form which goes uh, beyond disciplinization. So what makes an art field institution, institutional in the conditions in which we live, yeah? so global society but still national countries, are venues, studios, education on professional level, continuous training, research archive documentation theory, uh, festivals, uh, touring network inside and outside the country, uh, awarding system, whatever you think about this, social security system, uh, publication, uh, discourse, uh, etc. Probably I left out something, but it's more like to have a picture that institutionalization is bro broader term, and we have to, uh, uh, I mean, not that we have to, but uh, it's good to think in those terms, yeah? And maybe I will just stop briefly at some of these uh, 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 points. I think talking about Ljubljana, uh, the city of Ljubljana, but maybe also Slovenia in general, the problem of venues is solved. We have enough venues. Uh, at the moment where we can present and show dance works from very uh, small uh, studio level to highly sophisticated, technologically demanding. Yeah? We have this. This, I think, it solves for next at least 15, 20 uh, years. Big problem, no. studios. So the, uh, we basically don't have uh, 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 studios for preparation uh, of it. Interestingly enough, when uh, Star Elektrarna was opened, the, the official name, I think, it's still rehearsing space. Uh, <coughs> that was a kind of uh, deal with Elektra that yeah. there would, wouldn't be much people coming in, but then, of course. Which has a very interesting <laughs> abbreviation for international, but also for local uh, people. Uh, it was called Vadbišče in Slovenian, Vadbišče Star Elektrarna, with, uh, uh, with abbreviation USE, meaning all. Yeah? So, and sometimes politicians, of course, uh, this is very typical, yeah, they say and they leave, yeah, but sometimes politicians uh, look in, uh, work in, uh, how do I, s how can you say this, in terms of uh, uh, closing chapters, you know, uh, they are, um, they are not novelists, but they are short story writers, yeah, so I close a short story and this all, yeah, with the, with the studio, which uh, now became one of very important uh, uh, venues for the writing shows, uh, uh, was in a way so, but it's not. Yeah? And I think this should be also changed uh, in the head of decision makers, but also in head of professional community, in order how to actually place uh, the demands uh, uh, and not to accept pragmatism because it's important what comes after. I'm really totally okay if you give 800,000 euro tomorrow to, uh, to Spansky Borci, but I'm interested in what comes after that. Yeah? So, uh, uh, studio is a big problem, but even bigger problem on the conceptual level is how to understand studio today. What is studio? Do we know when we say studio, what is it? You know, ways of working and uh, uh, ways of thinking uh, have been changed. So already the notion of studio, I think, needs to be, uh, needs to be uh, in a way uh, uh, redefined. There was a beautiful show years ago here by Juan Dominguez, uh, which was actually uh, talking about this disastrous moment when uh, as a dancer, choreographer, you enter in the studio and you become blocked. Instead of like, now I have a place I can work and so on and so on. And many of us, yeah, uh, uh, are, uh, would like to work in different conditions, meaning also, so what is studio today? Yeah? And for example, I would uh, definitely propose, uh, to be pragmatic and concrete, something I would call studio stage. Yeah? For example, PTL is a great, uh, is a great studio stage, uh, which can be a place where the work can be prepared uh, to a certain point, shown in an unprepared, uh, uh, in an unprepared uh, stage, and then uh, 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 continued and finalized in a bigger, uh, for example, nothing personal, yeah? But this, I think, would be a, a very good example. 
Uh, okay, I go uh, to another point, education on professional level. Yeah? I think for the institutionalization, this is a really essential thing. We don't have it in Slovenia on professional level. And again, to be pragmatic, maybe uh, we don't need to think uh, as a kind of national, uh, in a kind of national terms, but strategically speaking, also in terms of territory, history, etc., uh, maybe it's not a bad idea to think about a regional center for uh, contemporary dance education. The regional in terms because you don't have this also neither in Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, but you even don't have it in Italy, by the way. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, we have in Salzburg the closest one, if I'm not uh, uh, wrong. Uh, but uh, I think here there is a big potential. Yeah? If we think in, 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 uh, in those terms, I don't think if we build like a uh, a regional, uh, international with, uh, education on the prof for professionals, uh, which would target uh, regional uh, professionals that the local national scene would lose. Uh, on the contrary, of course, it's always question, and I will come this to the to, to, the, to the, the the final point and the kind of a refrain. It's important what kind of education you establish, and here you have to think. And you have to have a vision. You have to think in 15 years' time, not like uh, only today. Because once you establish, it's very difficult to, uh, to change it. Uh, uh, continuous training. Yeah? I was really shocked uh, by the email uh, I received together with many uh, people in the community that after 25 years or 20 years of permanent daily based uh, classes in uh, Dance Theater of Ljubljana, they have been cancelled. Yeah. Now, let's not talk about the reasons, yeah? but uh, they were cancelled because there, were no, there was no interest. Yeah? And this was a shocking uh, <coughs> symptom. Yeah? But my question here is, uh, I think, the, the, if we understand the nature of uh, 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 dance, let's say, whatever we think in aesthetical terms, but that body needs to be capable to come in front of people. Yeah? So you have to do something uh, for it, whatever is it, train, whatever kind of training is it and so on. My question here is why should dancers pay for the daily training? If that's a part of it, this is for me, I really don't understand this concept. I know it's everywhere, I know it's pragmatic, of course, but fuck pragmatism, you know, if you cannot uh, 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 pay it, you know. Um, then another thing, yeah, which uh, has been pointed, research archive documentation uh, uh, theory. Uh, here I think we are quite advanced uh, uh, in a kind of uh, uh, human resources as well as on artistic level, but very poor on uh, institutional resources. So this certainly uh, is important. With festivals I think we are okay, but maybe, maybe we would need a kind of profilation in terms also that uh, uh, public financiers uh, somehow uh, follow the <coughs> development of uh, uh, programming and, uh, and support uh, so that things can develop. Yeah. Um, one thing I will skip touring network, network because this can be uh, said and it's really important also for de decentralization and again I'm talking all the time about institutionalization of an art discipline. Institutionalization of our discipline, don't forget, means stability of it, that it will be continued and it's not a free will of, uh, 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 of a certain power. Because at this moment, if you really go radically into legal system, there is no uh, legal protection, there is no legal guarantee uh, for contemporary dance to exist. If somebody comes one day on power and says, uh, we are not going to finance NGOs anymore. Uh, legally, uh, there is no way uh, that uh, he cannot do it. It's not illegal, and that's a big uh, uh, that's a big problem. So uh, uh, you have to work on parallel level. On one side, to spread the pillars of institutionalization and work really wide, also in territorial sense, in decentralization. That uh, the, the the question of decentralization, I will also come. Uh, a little bit uh, uh, later. Another very important thing is social security system. Yeah? This is a big thing and whenever you open this question the ministry come with number of uh, 
artists uh, and uh, also cultural workers uh, uh, which uh, have paid uh, which they pay retirement uh, and uh, health insurance yeah uh, when you imagine and project yourself to be retired and you see uh, what is the money you can uh, get out of it it's I think about 150 to 200 euros per month more or less uh, if uh, if you rely only on this now uh, 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 unless you live in uh, uh, the third world, which we don't live, uh, uh, I underline this, you can imagine what kind of life uh, uh, can you, uh, can you uh, live, can you expect. And uh, this, we come also to a very, very essential question, which is uh, uh, a question not only for uh, Slovenia, but everywhere. Uh, what do you do once you, let's say, cannot uh, dance in the way you are expected because you are 55 or 50 or 60 and so on. What happens to you? What the society does with you? You are a teacher in a school. You know how many schools have to be if we have 58 choreographers now in Slovenia and 33 dancers and tomorrow maybe we double this. Where are these people going to go? Ah, it doesn't matter. New and young will come. Who cares about it? They're stupid that they did dance. They could do something else. And so on. So the social security system, we have uh, dream examples from France and from Belgium and Netherlands where uh, artists are paid not only for the work they concretely do, but also for the time in which they are not active, which doesn't mean that they don't do artistic work. We are talking here about art. We are not talking here about business or about I don't know what. You know all, everybody who is an artist, but also people in that area know how important it is to have nothing to do. It's essential. It's not sound like a joke, like this stereotype, lazy artist and so on, but it's essential. It's essential. You have to have space to do nothing because yeah, that's art. One important part of art is to do intuitive work. Because intuit intuition, uh, next to, of course, research, analysis, theory, etc., etc., uh, uh, makes maybe uh, this society and life a little bit more interesting than it might be at the moment. So, uh, another question to ask, because we also have very respectful uh, uh, guests here from uh, different organizations, mainly coming from the West, do we need to copy some examples from the West or can we rely? Do we have a tradition here? Can we rely? Can we develop uh, something, not of course inventing in America and uh, hot water, but yeah? because, as we know from hi through history, dance is a Western phenomenon. You know? It is an art form which has uh, uh, he, which originated as an art form in Western countries and it was for uh, a long time struggling and uh, especially in uh, non-democratic uh, societies uh, uh, appearing and showing in different art disciplines not maybe as a pure independent individual dance <coughs> form but uh, as uh, uh, Rock already in the, in the uh, introduction said in video, television, etc. Et yeah. uh, then my question, next question, and maybe I come to, a, let's say, a little bit wider uh, wider view and uh, in the second part, <coughs> when we finish it, uh, uh, how to understand dance in wider uh, context. It is very important to, uh, uh, to, uh, instit to institutionalize it but it's also very important how you do you institutionalize it uh, in relation to other, the, the general cultural context. This is very uh, essential question once you come to the question of legal, uh, uh, legal form of what, uh, what Katya uh, presented, what legal form is. Uh, and uh, here the question is, again, do we need to uh, follow the models uh, which mainly divide cultural field on public and NGO sector, or is there something else? Yeah? 
And sorry to tell you here, uh, some vision would be necessary, you know, uh, also from that, uh, from that uh, perspective. Because I think this is a great chance to go beyond. Yeah? Otherwise, we come in this uh, uh, good old prag pragmatism, which works well, everybody is uh, happy, but it depends how long. Um, yeah, uh, uh, the question of dispersion of institutionalization. Now I talk about uh, Slovenia again, uh, and I think this can be also a, a question to discuss. Yeah, uh, uh, I think I said in the beginning that there are two problems now: uh, the, the education and. Uh, two major problems, yeah, uh, thinking in very pragmatic sense, education and uh, studios, yeah, but a house with eight studios in Ljubljana doesn't solve this problem in Maribor, in Novo Mesto, in, I don't know, Koper, etc., etc., so we should think, if we are thinking on the national level, we should think about this, because network doesn't mean that performance is, networking doesn't mean that performances from Ljubljana go to Maribor and Koper to show, look, that is contemporary dance. On the contrary, there has to be a scene which then is interested, actually, to see uh, the, the good quality uh, work. So, I don't know, one question uh, would be, if we are thinking about uh, 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 education on professional level, why this should be in Ljubljana, why this uh, could not be in Maribor? Also, we have to change beginning from, starting from myself, a perception of Slovenia. For me, it's much easier to go to Vienna or Berlin than to go to Novo Mesto, for example. And it's a mental question, it's a mental perception uh, we, uh, uh, we have. But this is one question, uh, an old question for Ibanica. Why should this always happen in Ljubljana? Why this festival, national festival, which is national festival of the most mobile, Dance uh, art field. Why doesn't move? It's, it's the last time. time. Yeah, it's the last time that it's happening in Ljubljana. Fantastic, great. Yeah. So, uh, studios, I said. Okay, let me be for a moment uh, 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 the devil's advocate. Yeah, because sometimes <laughs> we put ourselves in a kind of victim, uh, uh, victim person. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, and then we lament about uh, the things. But let me be a devil, uh, devil advocate for a moment and to speak uh, uh, what is uh, actually on the ideological level, what, uh, uh, why dance developed so much in the last uh, 30 years everywhere around the world. Uh, dance is an ideal art form of neoliberal capitalism. Why? If you look for the portrait, if you look for the portrait, like a portrait person of a neoliberal capitalism, it's young, energetic, dynamic, beautiful, mobile, and healthy. Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> and, and then, uh, this is the first level. Then comes the level of a uh, uh, kind of new romanticism which is projected on the figure of a dancer from a political and economical uh, elite. Yeah? And that is, uh, and that is beside which everything which uh, I already mentioned, young, beautiful, healthy, energetic, mobile, etc., uh, cheap and precarious. And this is this romantic dimension which politicians like a lot. Yeah? You are so young, you are so beautiful, you are so creative, you are so mobile, and so on, you are so cheap, and you do this out of your will and energy, and it's amazing. That's what we need. And if you look, uh, if you look in the in the business, yeah, it's more and more demanding like this. You know, look at the television in the cultural, uh, but look also at the university. It's more and more, you know, beautiful people. You know, professors are beautiful because you know, people are eager more to listen to them. It may be funny, but at the end of the day, it's not. Uh, and uh, uh, I will end with two things about uh, uh, legal, uh, legal frameworks. Uh, I mean, I read this uh, uh, research, and this is an old question and so on. Here I would say, uh, uh, if we are doing something which should work on long run, yeah, 
And if we see through the research that none of these uh, uh, possibilities uh, uh, which we can do through the uh, 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 existing legal framework uh, are actually good uh, for the, 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 the idea about center for contemporary dance, we have two options, yeah? The pragmatic one, uh, and we do like the Churchill, we took the, 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 less, uh, the least uh, uh, negative, but also we can behave totally human. Look, guys, this system doesn't give an op op optimal, optimum things, optimum solution for us. Let's change it. I mean, who created this system? God? I'm not sure. <laughs> so, the question is of perception, you know? Do we want, that's why I'm saying, okay, fantastic to be pragmatic, in three months, Spansky boards have 800,000 euros, you know, everything is a, a great a major, and the minister gives speech, and it's, you know, we have the biggest companies from Europe coming, residents, and so on and so on. But, 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 yeah. And then, uh, another question about uh, a regulation, uh, and this is again a question, everything I'm saying is a question. Uh, the, 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 if we go into a regulation of the field, and we know that we live in society uh, where in, uh, uh, in, uh, because we want to have things transparent and so on and so on, and uh, because we want to have protection of rights and so on, which of course everybody is signing, we have more and more regulation. And uh, a side effect of every regulation is where is space for risk? We are talking again about art. And people in business, sorry to tell you, they risk much more than we in art. Why are the shows more and more look-alike in the last uh, you know, 10 years? Ask uh, programmers, maybe they will still have some romanticism and so on, but they face this problem. Production mode is making shows more and more look-alike, and there is a mentality behind uh, which uh, uh, is, uh, in a way, uh, censoring our creativity and uh, risk-taking. So uh, the last question uh, here uh, would be, uh, where is space for risk if you are talking about art? Okay. Uh, Janis Jansha actually opened a really a wide space of different aspects of what could mean like institutionalization of contemporary dance as such. Uh, and I will invite now, because I, I think it's time to give some... Actually, uh, concerning the commission, I'm not sure whether actually there are any plans to comment upon what we what we've heard today, to <coughs> to give some. Uh, Can I start? Yeah. Um, I'm dancer choreographer from Ljubljana, uh, and I work in my own production. So. Um, uh, I uh, I can say I uh, went uh, in the last 10 years uh, through all the um, fights, uh, not only on artistic level, but also on productional level. So I applied for uh, my own projects uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, what I would like to say uh, here is that um, um, I must say that I agree completely with um, with Emil and also uh, with uh, Katia uh, on all the points uh, how the institu institutionalization could, uh, should be um, formed. Uh, so not, in my opinion, not uh, into one um, house, one institution, but um, to to uh, to to consider uh, to consider all the the aspects uh, of um, of um, 
of the committee um, uh, that Katya explained. Um, uh, for my, uh, I can say personally, um, uh, and I, I think I could speak in name of uh, other uh, dancers. Uh, it's. Um, <laughs> I don't want to speak from a, a, a point of view of the victim, but it's very, very, very hard for us to survive. Uh, I can say only this. And uh, on the other hand, yes, if we have everything institutionalized, uh, we can say uh, that uh, we can come to the point where everyone lives nice and um, and uh, has a lot of money, but maybe there will be less alternative, less interesting stuff, and so on. Just because uh, 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 there will uh, there will be forms um, of the uh, performances uh, more and more um, uh, compatible to the uh, to the to the. Uh, conditions uh, um, uh, given by the politics or the institution. So um, yeah. So I think uh, uh, there uh, we should uh, find uh, a very good um, uh, balance uh, between that. Uh, there is still a lot of freedom for the artist, uh, where also the risk could come. And on the other hand, hand, that they should have so much support that they could survive. Because now I think a lot of um, choreographers in these conditions are just at the moment where they uh, they will start to to do something else in their lives. I think, yeah, um, yeah. This is my okay. impression. <coughs> Any other comments? Perhaps I would invite uh, Moisa Kasiak or someone from Maribor to give some comments from the point of view of NGO that doesn't come from the Slovenian Contemporary Dance Center as Ljubljana, I, I guess, is. Yeah, um, thank you, Rob, because I was just thinking about that. Uh, I was just explaining um, that Please Nizma Maribor has uh, 24 years of tradition of education program um, and also 16 years of production um, for contemporary dance. Uh, one experience that uh, last year we first time applied for the program application here when there were an open call um, but we were not successful um, unfortunately. Uh, the problem was for example that um, uh, my opinion and also opinion of my team was that uh, institution that has so much program like education program, uh, stage production continually like four or five years, uh, four or five uh, premiere per year, a lot of co-production uh, and also two festivals, um, one is more local and national and the other is more international. Um, we would like to to do more professional things, you know, like in this, as you said, that we can live about from this, yeah, that uh, we are professionals. Um, but unfortunately, the answer from Ministry of Culture was that um, our educational program has been very structuralized, but not uh, the vision of the production. Okay, that's okay, yeah. But we said in the application that we need the money to establish the format, you know, to go forward because, uh, for example, 50,000 per year it, for our institution will means a lot. Well, anyway, the story went to the other side and uh, we are still, um, our aim is that uh, you see yesterday, Francesco and all your, um, our partners, became and uh, has visited Plesna Izba. We have really uh, small studios, but very important because um, sometimes when um, the dancers are finished dance academies and from Maribor, because Plesna Izba established um, the, the, the basement for the uh, 
the dancers and the choreographers. And when they went abroad for dance academies and they came back, they, they couldn't uh, find a place in Maribor, so went to Ljubljana. So we had a lot of our ex-dancers or choreographers that now are working in Ljubljana. And because in Ljubljana it's a little bit of crowded for rehearsal space, they are still rehearsing in Maribor. So it's quite um, different situation. And as I said at the beginning, when I started with this institutionalization, that my opinion is, that was on the first meeting I said, my opinion is that uh, one, uh, one building will not have a problem, you know, that we have to think larger for whole Slovenia because it is centralized about the performing arts that everything is in Ljubljana. Uh, I don't uh, want that this is like a selfish, that, uh, but I have to think also about the other region because uh, there is a lot of young dancers in Kran, in Celje, of course in Maribor and maybe also in Koper, in Novo Mesto, so I agree with you, Emil. Uh, that is, this is a national problem and uh, uh, my opinion is that one object in Ljubljana will not solve a problem of this whole uh, situation. But uh, right now I don't have a solution. <laughs> but, uh, yes, we have to cooperate and think wider, not in, for one building in Ljubljana, that's my opinion. Okay, Katja, Katja Kos is the next one. Uh, yeah, perhaps I'll give it to uh, I will speak now on, uh, more as a producer from the producing part of you, so not as, a, and as an artist. Um, I've been uh, three years away, uh, around three years away in, uh, in uh, Germany, in Landhaus, in Landhaus and uh, when I came back I, I saw, uh, I had been working before in the dance scene and when I came back I saw actually a bit, um, there are lots of venues actually which we produce, there are lots of uh, uh, programs which we produce, there are lots of projects which we produce. In, uh, and I, I do think myself that they are very high quality level in uh, comparison to other European, uh, uh, also in comparison to other European West or East uh, uh, production. Um, I've been making small research uh, in order to, to, to end my study, um, and I was. Uh, trying to see what's the problem in the small NGOs, what's the problem that we don't get such uh, good feedback, that we don't uh, make such a good impact. And I've seen that everyone is struggling actually with ad hoc. Uh, um, it's, it's coming from the funding also, because lots of the projects, lots of, lots of the programming is um, actually programmed for a year or for three years, uh, the finance uh, financing uh, situation in Slovenia is not allowing the artists or the uh, producers to think in long term. They have to wait for the funding. I'm talking now about the project funding, not of the, of the program uh, or three years project uh, funding. Uh, I know that Minister of Culture is taking some, uh, I mean, they know for the problem and uh, because there is a hyper production of the smaller things which do not uh, come to this point um, and just, you know, we have a premiere and then as we were talking about, there is no post-production. Uh, so I would say, as Emil, that actually we don't need only a space uh, perhaps, uh, I don't know, Enki Till from Tilburg is not here right now, but they have a, a kind of a virtual dance house. Perhaps this is the first thing. Uh, they are a uh, dance city of Tilburg. And they just gathered, they have a, a <coughs> few progr the programming directors of different stages uh, making program which is really yearly uh, adjusted and prepared together so that they don't come in conflicts also or have the same time and um, I think still uh, the scene has lots of lots of potential and somehow it doesn't make the breakthrough and uh, I think still um, 
the risk, which you were talking about, I think, was, I think, uh, is also on us that we just, or on on one side, on the financial level, that it allows us a frame, it, it's a bit stronger frame, uh, which is, but on the, on the other side, uh, fluctual or something like that. It's, it's uh, more, it allows improvisation, which is needed for the dance fields, uh, for, for the art fields of dance uh, and its process. Because you cannot close it down uh, as, I don't know, in, st uh, in state theaters, which I am really afraid of. If we institutionalize it and put uh, a company, uh, it's going to be as rigid, rigid as uh, in that sense of, uh, of, of the, what, what most of us think it's institutionalizing, that we just uh, put it too much in a, in a, uh, in a too rigid way. <coughs> what uh, better than them there? Uh, is, is there anybody else who would like to? Janet, thank you very much. You remind you in which service we are in uh, neoliberalism, capitalism. I agree. Uh, for, for a while it's nice to do it. Uh, after a while it uh, gets a set of expectation, and this is a, a really big issue. But here we talk about uh, structure and politics. and. Um, I just uh, want to make aware that dancers, for me, are from their, from their, from what they do and what they know, they're not from their basic of knowledge, they are the best politics. Uh, because um, they have a, to do their art, they need pragmatic, I call it dance, dance-matic. Uh, they need to have a sense of, of timing, uh, they need, they have a sense of style, and uh, they need to be self-responsibility, uh, especially as a, set, uh, as a contemporary dancer, uh, and a will to survive. So all these five uh, elements are best to, to ne negotiate and, and make a pas de deux with a politician like here. Uh, and even sometimes a group dance. So, uh, solo. at the end you, you have a solo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know this is reality, but, uh, but on the other side, it was a very clear statement. Yeah. Now I make a solo for, for a while, but I know there is someone who make a part of you also, and uh, in the group. So, uh, I don't believe in lists of what has to be done. I, I believe in a process of responsibility, and I trust there is enough space and there's enough money for everybody here. There's a lot of money around, uh, but there needs to be the will to get this money and the will to, uh, 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 for each, because each one is different. Uh, one is more in pedagogic, one is more in public, etc. So there's so much to do. And the question is how to, um, I think, uh, institution is a bad word. We, I think this is, that the only institution is a permanent dialogue. What I, a sharing, uh, a sharing to, uh, to, to support the initiative of each of us without limited jealousy, which is good, but if it's too much, it gets, it gets in the way, uh, it, it, uh, which is a natural thing to do, but it's, it gets in the way. The question is how to support it, to, in, 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 to internalize a dialogue, to support each best will, best uh, skills, to develop structures. If we talk about a dance house, uh, this is not a building, not an institution. It might be a concept which is pos uh, politically possible because it, uh, it's, uh, it puts besides the opera house and museum a dance house. But this is not the solution of, of all. It's, it's impossible. It is just one little element uh, and it, uh, it could be done in many ways, like probably here, because there are institutions, uh, like the model of Tilburg, which you de de described, that they have, they have institution and there are a superstructure of a dance house with different partners and they function very well. Uh, and they don't have to put it in one building and they don't have to put it in one master director. But they, but they have to do it in a, some kind of just a flow of discussion and circulation uh, focused on the needs of the artists. We are all midwives as directors, nothing else, support us. And if you go beyond, 
a critical midwife. I mean, also a dialogue. Uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, but, but, uh, but I think uh, this is very important uh, as, uh, to, to follow this process of dynamic idea, which is in the contrary dancers. And the only contrary dancers is sometimes you have to identify as a political person using the same skills, but uh, with with some kind of political filter. I skip what I want to say, but I think it's important just to, in that process, to think that it's it can also be small steps. Yes. That that, mm -hmm. that there is strategic thinking behind it. That you you know you might be going. I mean, the neoliberalist hegemony is maybe not going to go away, but you know you make small steps towards something that you want to achieve. Um, and I was also thinking about like what kind of systems do we build, um, and. Uh, the systems that we live in are very complex these days. Just in that, in the, in, we live in a global economy. We live in, a, even in the institutions like dance institutes. I work in an institution which is a national institution, and it is it is not a simple thing. It is actually, and we are I'm actually consciously developing that as a complex system. And the complexity means that it is kind of a, a it's a system of networks. Synergies, dialogue, connections, partnerships. I was just writing some things up that I hear here. And I put those into the institutional framework and expose that to them. And use that institutional you know, resource that we have, which means we have the house, we have the money, we have the rules, and I'm even bending the rules. I, I've run, I, for three years I've been running an institution which is non producing house. It's only supposed to be a, uh, a national stage, a uh, presenting stage. That I mean, they're not going to come. How I divide the, the use of the room and what is co-production. The international bit has been one way opening up into co-productions, which they cannot say no to because they are all for the internationalization of Swedish dance. So I'm using that that political card to do something else to actually do what I'm not supposed to do. So I'm like I'm thinking like yeah, a healthy cultural life needs institutions because that's where the politicians are going to give money. I mean, they're not going to give you money to not to do anything. I doubt it. But they might give money to an institution, and then you create inside of that practices which can support maybe that not doing anything for I don't know how long. Um, so I think, uh, and that kind of like systems are always have to be built. I came from Finland to Sweden. I couldn't build it like I would have built it in Finland. I had to first look at what is the context and what is the history of the specific <coughs> Sweden, and how do you create that kind of like uh, a system in, in, in that context? Um, and it, as it sounds like, there is a lot of potential. It's like, how do you put this together, and how that money or resources that you might is out there, grab it, and use it whatever you need to use it for. Um, I don't know, I don't know how much control or following up the politicians can actually do, and how much details can they actually control or, or manage in that sense. Um, yeah, just work around it. That's my advice. Uh, now, Angela from Buenos Aires would like to say something. Hello. I'm not from Ljubljana, so I'm, I'm not running an institution, so I don't have so much uh, insight, of course. But I'm listening to you for a while, and I've spoken to a lot of artists that I'm not seeing. Uh, which is an interesting point, that you have a discussion, and there are not so many artists. I think it has to do maybe, at least in my experience, always with frustration. So that, that's also something that institutions might be doing. And there is something else that. I have actually concerning the Commission. I'm not sure whether actually there are any plans for our Commission to have another. ministry who is proposing a plan for. that they are in charge of four years. So he's being pragmatic because they have just a very short time uh, to propose something, but then the proposal is a center, even if it's virtual, but that is centralized. So um, you're putting the money into something that has two years of lifetime because you don't know what political change is coming afterwards. While you have a lot of people here and institutions who have been surviving maybe with not so much money also for a very long time. Yeah, I think what they are saying about balance uh, between you know networking or uh, creating a center and uh, 
having these institutions is really important. Because these institutions may, you may not agree also as an artist, but they are there and they are many. So it's not the power in the hand of one. It's not one person that it, everything depends on. And um, I think what is happening here, maybe in a different way than in what you said, because we don't have funding, so that's very different. Um, you do have some funding, at least. Um, is that the, the dialogue inside the, the dance community is totally not working. Yeah. Yes? Mm -hmm. And it's not helping you, I think. Because each institution is worried about their survival for the year instead of worrying maybe a little more about construction. Where each artist is worried about getting production funding when I don't think production funding is the issue here. So, I just a thought. And the other thing that I think is really important is that um, you are not hearing out the artists and the artists are not making themselves being heard. And uh, I think there are very different approaches to this, and there, are, there have been some initiatives that are very interesting. One of them is um, that is not happening. It was just an idea that was hanging in the room. Uh, someone proposed a dream platform for artists to dream about uh, cultural politics uh, in an open, in a virtual context, so they can all be heard, and many different ideas and realities can be heard. Uh, we are doing something else in Buenos Aires. We are um, we are, we put a, on virtually a questionnaire because there are studies being done about um, you know numbers and the necessities and what is the most necessary item in the dance community and so on. And uh, these questionnaires are to be filled out by the artists. There is freedom and space to add questions if the questionnaire does not fulfill all the all the needs of the artist and uh, and we are not planning to do an analysis of it because every analysis that is done is very it's one side of it so we are going to publish virtually all the questionnaires for each one to make its own analysis these are just thoughts and ideas and things that are happening somewhere else but um, i feel this that the dialogue is not happening really. okay. uh -huh. Uh, uh, some issues. Projects, money is not an issue, it is an issue because if you don't do a project as an artist, you don't develop. So that's one thing. So this is absolutely an issue always. Uh, second thing is that there is no dialogue between the, uh, the artists and, uh, and then the presenting institutions. Um, yes, but um, I'm thinking, um, well, I, I, I'll try to collect my thoughts because they're, they're going in different directions. The, the theaters that we have that present our work are not in fact production companies. They are production companies of a bunker produces mostly one artist. Uh, and Knapp, uh, who is uh, of Spansky Warsaw, they produce mostly and Knapp. Uh, but it's not that otherwise NGOs produce different, uh, different artists. So it's, it's very, very dispersed scene and we don't have a common networking. I don't know, maybe it's an idealistic uh, thing that, you, that, that I'm thinking that maybe a common networking is possible, I guess not. So probably the institutions that will, that will be born will not do that either. Uh, and so every one of us is building up his own NGO. You know, and, and that's the biggest problem that in, in this way, yes, we're very dispersed and we're not, uh, we're not communicating. And all of these NGOs make only very little projects. Because if you get maximum 10,000 euros for a project, uh, you can make a solo or a duet, you know? And you can't pay your own producer who will do a networking for you. You know, and who will go to ITM meetings and and, and to and promote your work? So I think that's the one of the biggest problems. If this institution will solve it, I don't know. But I, I find that for all of us, it's a big problem. Uh, the the second thing is that uh, project money again. Yes, it's very important because in fact um, we're stuck in a vicious circle. I know it for myself. You know, if you get ten thousand euros you can make only a solo or a duet, you know. You can work for two months, 
and uh, sometimes for a project you need more than two months for the, for the research and uh, for the development of different ideas. And it's also the thing that here, in fact, we don't have big contemporary dance projects. And sometimes I've been talking to a theater director recently, she's doing um, also big productions in, in repertory theaters, and she says, you know, unless you have 12 people on all stage, you can't start thinking, directing, or choreographing because you don't, you don't think a composition. So if we're wanting to develop a, a contemporary dance as such, which is professional and uh, which is dealing with the media as such, I think we also need this. So. The solution to your question is dance house and modern dance. Okay. <coughs> I will and education. And education. You see, we, we have no own company. We have 16 co-producers. Mm -hmm. And we find money for them if they don't have it. That's what we look. We look spaces and uh, finally we connect it even with other colleagues through the Modal Dance Network. I absolutely agree that this uh, needs to develop. Yeah. I absolutely, we know exactly these this problems which you described and we find a solution and we can only find a solution together with, yeah. with your artists, of course. We need to be in dialogue with, with the artists too. Yeah. I would now actually bring our discussion to a close and I would ask Dragan Alferovic who uh, a choreographer and producer in the field of contemporary dance to, she, she was taking notes all the time and to conclude or to, to, to give some list of, of recommendations that we will send to the people that are not here with us anymore. Yes, um, it's a very difficult task to give a conclusion. I think you know that. And I, um, after all this lively debate in the end, in fact, uh, I would not give myself a task to give a conclusion, but I was asked to do this. I would just maybe shortly um, recapitulate or, or rethink again what happened from the beginning. And it's very interesting because in the beginning it looked like um, the end of something. It looked almost like, okay, we now shake hands and sign something and we go and we are all very happy. And then luckily, um, starting with Amy and then probably of course with the rest of you, um, it somehow flipped on the other side of the talk. Um, it seems like uh, the proposition from the beginning... Is this microphone working? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from the beginning... Um, yeah, my notes are a little bit disorganized, but I will try to organize them. Um, it seems that on both sides, and it's also very difficult to give conclusions or a list of recommendations when one party is not involved. Now we are only on one side, let's say, and the other side is gone, mostly, as I see. So it's, um, from the beginning it seemed like both sides, or, or I also targeted more than, than two sides, uh, that they all need, or you all need, or we all need a kind of holistic system that would take care of education, production, promotion, uh, research, um, documentation, etc., networking and all these things. Um, then, even though Katya said in the beginning uh, that the situation was already analyzed and she presented very well in fact, uh, the current state of the situation, uh, I also found moments and reasons to analyze it again and to scan again the situation and to talk about it in maybe a wider circle or in, in a different um, circumstances. Um, there, there was a suggestion, and also it repeated several times, to look for a new model. I don't know what it means, we should also discuss that. But to not rely on the existing models and not to, um, to close ourselves <coughs> up in, in existing uh, models, but to look for the new ones. Um, of course, on the side of the scene, uh, there is a need um, to find the mechanisms that would enable openness to all scene, to the whole scene seen as a whole. So it means whether with the institution or not, uh, there should be a model that includes interests and, and needs of wider scene. Um, and that the kind of communication among the actors in the scene and also with the wider environment, mean, meaning political environment, should be um, somehow found. Um, and on the side of the ministry, or the, the other side if I can say, um, the, the requests from the scene to the ministry are that the kind of political independence or autonomy in decision making is uh, present and that there are clear and transparent procedures of establishing the kind of institutional model. Um, I also can say that there are certain promises from the side of the ministry uh, which probably should take, be taken as such. 
and that will enter also this re list of recommendations, which are, I will just repeat, um, the readiness or the pre preparedness, can you say that? Readiness to establish um, a building, a physical space in three to five years from now, to invest in the first two years one and a half million uh, euros, and also to operate as a kind of um, partner between the city council and, and ministry of culture. In fact, to be one of the partners in, in this partnership, and also to, to open um, the, the whole story to the, the national significance, meaning including Maribor, um, and all the other regions. So this is a kind of set of promises that we have heard. If, you, if somebody heard something else that I didn't, please also say, because I may be also not hear everything. So I think there is the, the set of promises on one side, and there is, uh, luckily, the whole new story starting with what Andrew was saying, which means that dance, or perform, I would say performing arts maybe more, um, should think of itself as a, as a political player, not only as enter entertainment that somebody would enable to to be closed in one building or one, one um, physical space, but also to think of itself as a, as a catalyst or as a um, significant player in the political processes or in the political changes. Uh, so on one hand we have um, one model which is stable, meaning physically stable, um, it's thought structure-wise, and on the other hand we have a content-wise or procedure-wise model. Um, the one will solve problem instantly, and the other one will dedicate itself to solving problem constantly throughout years. Uh, we also heard, I will repeat, sorry to repeat what you said, but you said something that exactly I thought. On one hand, we have a model that offers two year solution, and on the other hand, we have a model that offers virtually infinite number of years, let's say, solution. Um, what are important strategies? Yeah, one, of course, I will repeat again, one uh, offers institutionalization as a physical space, so meaning li li literally institution, and the other one uh, proposes institutionalization as stability, meaning as a process. Um, the strategies that can be applied to, um, I will now speak about this one, that is a process based, not a product based, uh, based um, is offering different strategies. One of them is decentralization, meaning decentralization um, in terms of art form, so not to look at one's own art form as, as only one, but to, to think of it as multiplicity. Uh, decentralization in geographical terms, um, etc. Um, then participation as a strategy, which means that participation of different players in the field should be uh, included. Uh, and I think, I, I'm also new to this uh, city and this country, but I think there is quite some knowledge here. Uh, that should be involved. Um, then dialogue as, as a strategy, which means that all the sides should um, devote themselves to the certain dynamics of the dialogue. And here I would stress that determination of dynamics of dialogue is very important, because today we have seen that a certain situation can look as an end of a dialogue or as a beginning of a dialogue. So I would say that both sides, or let's say us who are here now, should try to determine different, um, certain dynamics of this dialogue. And um, certainly public debate as one of the strategies, which means that um, all these things that we have spoken here should be probably repeated um, more often in different groups. Um, and another one, contextualization. This is a very complicated one, but still I will try to, to work on it more. Which means that you, we should contextualize our own work, field of work, but also contextualize um, in terms of, let's say, if it's a local or regional or national or international significance of, of what we do. And I would, I would say for the end something that I found very, very important, which also Amy said, uh, that a kind of vision maybe is lacking in this whole talk, which means, and the vision can be only a common vision, it can be, of course, personal vision, but it, it can be only a common vision of what is it that we really need, you know? um, and this is something that I really find, find lacking, and I will end with this, it's, the vision is lacking, <laughs> sorry to be so pessimistic, but, um, thank you. Thank you, actually, this is a, 
very, actually very cruel, but uh, very good conclusion for the whole thing. I think this is the first public debate about the institutionalization of the contemporary dance or a contemporary dance institution. And this is something actually that I, I know that the association actually also uh, produces a certain pressure that, that thinks or that this topic of uh, the Slovenian contemporary dance institution should be more than one time or many times should be publicly debated. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and I think perhaps until uh, September 2011, this year, this September, right, uh, that it should be, <clears throat> that we should have at least a few more debates on that, and perhaps uh, a well-structured or something, uh, which I think they have planned, if there is, I mean, the, in the document that we produce as a commission, it's planned to be publicly debated. Is that right? I don't know. But I think it should be, of course. I would, I would thank you uh, for your participation. Uh, the formally, this panel is finished now, but informally, <coughs> we can talk further in the Zerce Sazu. Huh? Uh -huh. Of course, I have to I have to invite you for the to for the discussion that will take place tomorrow. It's about Slovenian Dance Network. Uh, yeah, Slovenian Dance Network. Uh, we will uh, we will introduce the project and uh, I'm a please remind me where and when this discussion is taking place. At 11 in Zerce Sazu. Uh -huh. At 11 o'clock in the morning, Zerce Sazu is meet, where, where is our meeting place. Also, we, you are invited to come with us to Zerce Sazu. Representing, negotiating, advising ministry. Do you know what's your role in further uh, development towards what uh, was uh, today uh, said from their side? And could you uh, um, invite uh, or p propose a public debate more concrete and more extend, uh, extended than these five minutes of a uh, secretary to be informed actually what's going on? Because I'm really not sure that I understood uh, today what's their plan. I don't actually, uh, concerning the commission, I'm not sure whether actually there are any plans for our commission to have another meeting or something. Actually, with this document that we produce uh, with the uh, funding uh, document that we so produce. So is it planned any dialogue or from here on? <coughs> I think we demanded that this document, this uh, funding document, should be uh, uh, presented and publicly discussed. But the answer to the suggestion was that the 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 authorities of the ministry will decide when this will be discussed. But I think that uh, actually this uh, um, founding document is, uh, I mean, it's interesting, but um, I think other things should be discussed actually than the, the document itself. Because I think what what we wrote in the mission and the purpose of the of the institution is not such a such a problem. And the actual how this is going to be. But do we want to then see further dialogue and find a way towards, or are we just waiting now? No, we can, I think we, we can initiate the dialogue, I'm sure. I mean, absolutely. Yeah, it seemed that it came to one point and then it was cut. <coughs> it seems like this.